Hello, I'm Linda Ann. I'm here today to work with some of the products I have from Deco Art. I'm in the Helping Artists program. This will be part two of the Guardian Angel quote that I already began. You know, usually I tell you when something goes wrong, it means I need to go a further, a step further. <laughs> it wasn't the case with this. I just kept messing with this quote, trying to make it look the right color and look like it fit in here the way I wanted it to, and it was not going to work, no matter what I did. So I started painting, thinking that if I added a little color to the feathers, that maybe that quote would work, but it didn't. I wanted to add a bit more color, so I switched over to the Americana Multisurface Satins in Soft Jade and Peach Silk. And here's some pictures of the results of that. I really like the feathers better now. I like a little more color in them. So here I am back and I try and I try and I try to make that guardian angel quote work. And I put dots on it and I put colors on it. And you know, it was just too bright. It just didn't work. So when I printed it again, it looked a lot better, but it's too stark. I need to do something to it. And, you know, I slept on it last night. Sometimes when you sleep on things, it just works. So I pulled up this color, uh, of, and I watered it down, made it really thin. I'm going to dry it here. And when I placed this on the canvas later, I realized, bingo. What was happening was that bright pink was taking away from the feathers. And I wanted the feathers to show, so it just kind of overpowered. It was way too bright, and it competed with the feathers. But the blue blended in with the background, and it just seems to be just right, as the three bears would say, as Goldilocks would say. So... I kept playing with this, and it still wasn't quite where I wanted it, so I used some of the antiquing cream. And you know, I've never used this before, and I haven't read the directions yet, but I just used my fan brush, watered it down so that it wouldn't be harsh, and used it around the edges. Just dabbing it on here and there, and then I went back and did a second coat of them, because when it started drying it wasn't quite dark enough. It was really super light. So then I think, okay, that's looking good on my um, quote, so let's pull some into the canvas. But I need it heavier here. And I guess it would help if I'd go read the instructions before I use an antiquing cream. I still need to do that, but I need to pull up the Deco Art, um, the Deco Art site to do that with. <laughs> and I want to get the video online, and I'm tired, and it's been a long day, and so here I go, jumping in like, you know, normal Linda. She jumps in over her head before she reads the directions. If, then if I get in trouble, then I read the directions. And uh, for as long as I taught school, I always taught my children, be sure to read the directions first. <laughs> but I didn't listen very well to my own voice. And it seems like I was taking off more with my cloth, so I started using the cloth as the antiquing. And then I went back and forth between the cloth and the brush, the cloth and the brush. And as I said, there may be instructions about this on Deco Art. Usually on the bottles, they're so small for old folks like me to read that uh, I try to go to the site and read the directions. But uh, I'm not in enough trouble yet. So, I haven't read them. This isn't exactly the way I thought an antiquing cream should look, but since I didn't read the directions, um, it was turning out pretty well. And uh, I was kind of liking it. I liked the way it kind of closed things in. So, one of the things I discovered was when I turned this canvas upside down, last night I had it the other way, but when I turned it this way, this fit in better. And look at this, this pink one, it looks terrible. But this blue one is much softer and, and prettier. That uh, bright pink just overpowered. So I think it was a good move to um, reprint this and try again. 
Now, I don't like things smack dab in the center, so I'm trying to decide exactly where I want this. I don't like the center of interest. I don't know why they call it the center of interest. Why not the area of interest? But the center of interest, I never really want right in the center of my page. So I'm working on this, and I've decided to where I want it, and I'm going to put it on with Mod Podge. Now, Deco Art makes a wonderful uh, medium called Triple Thick. I love Triple Thick, but I've used so much of it that I'm out of it. So uh, I'm reverting to the to the thing that I have on hand, which is the Mod Podge, and is not a Deco Art product. But uh, that Triple Thick makes things look almost like glass over them. It is. It's Triple Thick. It just gives a shiny, shiny, beautiful finish to these canvases, especially these canvases with quotes. I think that looks really nice. If you haven't used a medium before, uh, it gives a milky appearance while it's wet, just like glue does, just like, you know, Elmer's glue will dry clear. But uh, this will give a, a milky appearance. And actually, I'm pretty sure that this is a jar of Mod Podge that I have watered down whenever I made my... Uh, fancy paper feathers, which there's a video on that if you'd like to watch it. But this is going to dry window glass clear, so I'm not worried about it looking milky right now. Now, one of the things I did learn, which I wasn't sure when I started doing this, is that uh, that antiquing cream from Deco Art did not move whenever I put the uh, Mod Podge over it, so it must be a permanent thing once it dries. I know that while it's wet, you can rub it off pretty good. So I think it's meant more for, and I'll have to read the directions, but I think it's meant more for highlighting uh, textures and surfaces so that you can get a good antiquing look on it. But I still kind of like it on here. And it kind of pulled the sides together so you feel like it all goes together. Plus running it around the edge of that little quote just makes it all match up and look good. So I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Uh, share this on Facebook or wherever you do your social media. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would very much appreciate that. And remember, never run faster than your guardian angel can fly. Thank you for watching.